Well, today, as you can see, 39 degrees. Uh, we've had the morning fog, partly cloudy later on today. Winds going to be northeast 5 to 10 miles an hour. It's not looking too bad today, but 42 is an average daytime high for this time of year. Tonight, uh, temperature down 26, more patchy fog tomorrow, uh, pretty much guaranteed. But those winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour, we've seen today those winds about 9, helping to scour out some of the fog, so we're not looking too bad. Forecast radar. So uh, we take a look at this afternoon. We're going to clear out by 4 o'clock. Sunsets at 413, by the way. Um, we could see some sunshine. Things are looking pretty nice. Now, we're going to see a continuation of clouds on the move uh, overnight into the uh, early Friday morning. Again, cool temperatures. We could see a little bit of patchy fog there, but still dry. And we're going to remain dry through Friday. We're going to have clouds on the move. Some breaks Friday night. We chill. We get cold. Then... We get into Saturday morning, we start to see more cloud cover. Now, we're going to start to see the advance of some moisture that's going to be sitting around Moses Lake and into areas just the east slopes of the Cascades. And that's going to start moving our way. We're going to see that Saturday night, Sunday, where we're going to see Sunday with those showers. So our highs today are going to be below average. We're going to be in the upper 30s throughout our area. 40 into Ritzville, uh, Tri-Cities 43 degrees, and then Lewiston at 51. But everybody remains dry except for some of the fog that is hanging out in some of those protected valleys. was not a big deal today, but we could see it again tomorrow morning. We look at our planning forecast. We're going to have warming temperatures, but uh, just a skosh above average, 43 Friday, mid 40s Saturday, Sunday. Again, Saturday night into Sunday early morning. Rain, rain, snow mixed, and then Sunday afternoon we're going to get breezy conditions, maybe Sunday morning, where we're going to see some gusty winds as that front moves out. Behind it, that uh, cooler air mass, 41, partly cloudy Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, leading up to Thanksgiving, we're going to be in the mid-40s, overnight lows around 30. Um, so that's not looking too bad, especially for those who are going to be traveling. Just a heads up, as we go all the way through into Thanksgiving with our uh, uh, temperature trend, Thanksgiving going to be a touch cooler, but it should be dry, and that's the good news. All right, First Alert Weather app is free. It's available in the App Store. We'd love for you to download it and get the latest update.